It's about my nigga Jumby right now. Hey, that's the name we worry about right now. Hello. Once again, thank you for being on, man. My pleasure. Been a great my pleasure. My so pleasure. Far. Where does the name Jumby come from? Well, it's Trini. We use it mostly in Trini, but it's really derived from like Africa. So like the name, the full name would be Moko Jumby. Moko Jumby is like a tall spirit that's set to watch over like the village in mm-hmm. Africa. And I'm six foot four, so <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. But um, other than that, you know, it's just it's, it's a spirit, you know, mostly used for like haunting people. So like, if you're in Trinidad or Pete, you talk to a chain, like, no, I jump you and me, dog. Mm. No. <laughs> right, right, right. Interesting. But, okay, um, okay. So you haunt people. <laughs> Yeah, for the haunting. I'm sure it's maybe a, he only haunts the people that maybe. deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Karma haunts. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. so my, sorry. No, no, you, good, 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 you good, only good. haunts the wicked. <laughs> so, Jumby, the wicked. Yeah. Tell the people who you are. What do you do? What's your claim to fame? All right. So right now, my claim to fame is being on the physics study group. Hey, shout out <laughs> TBSG baby. Right. But no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a DJ, okay. up and coming producer here mm. in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Mm. In the area. In the Palm oh, Beaches. And <laughs> 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 a bona fide um, j- disc jockey, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Mr. Epwe, Epwe, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> working on it, working on it every day, every day. On Be on teams. the lookout for me. I have Afro B and Vibes 2 coming out. Side A and B. Mm. Be on the lookout for that. Be on but the lookout for that. Yeah. So, so about sides A and B. Let's just take a moment. Yeah, had to for real. Had to <laughs> Shout out to the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had to do it that way. I had to do it that way. There was no other way for me to do it because just the flow and the vibe. I'm real big on like mixing sounds and how like that's why I rate like EDM DJs because I mean there ain't no words. But mm-hmm. the way they blend and they mesh sounds together, and right. I mean, of course, turntable is like. Jazzy Jeff being the mm. one oh, for me, mm. like yeah. him, and even much. Puffy, like DJ Puffy. That yo, Puffy is nice with it. His cuts are clean. Scratch yeah. Bastard, yo, shout out to all of them. Scratch mm. Bastard, yo, yeah. my nigga. Yo. See, <laughs> you, you, you see what I like? You're a student of the game. See, that's, mm. that's why you're gonna be successful. Yeah. You're not just out here dilly dallying. Yeah. See, see, that's what my thing. Because there's a lot of people out here calling them DJs, yeah. mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. right. Calling themselves DJs. And I, I compare it to, to playing guitar. I feel like a lot of people can pick up a guitar and play it, but there's very few people that can master it and be like... A guitarist. A guitarist. Mm. Yeah, it's their claim to fame. Yeah, like, oh, you play the guitar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so to me, it was like, when you say a DJ, and I feel like a lot of times, this is my gripe with a lot of DJs now. Mm-hmm. You go out and it's like you hear the same mix. Mm-hmm. Right. Every time. Every time. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's like I, I felt like DJs didn't want to take risks. No. Um, and, and didn't want to like try. I feel like they, they played it safe. Right. Yeah. Every time. Instead of well, mixing I mean, and blending. And... All right. So depending on like the party, the promoter, like there's a lot of things that like go into that actually. Mm. So like in this South Florida scene, you know, playing it safe is more for the up and coming DJs or the DJs who just don't really do it because they actually like. At first, let me just say, let me not use the term DJ because a lot of actual turntablists and DJs will get upset mm. hearing that. These mm. are selectors. Mm. Ah, got you. So, like, there's mm. a lot of selectors who, you know, who step out in parties and they play the same thing because, you know, it's a quick check or, mm. as you know, it's just they're playing it safe because they know the crowd is only going to react a certain way, which. Mm. I can't lie. I'm definitely guilty of doing that certain times. Mm. Mm. But it's because, you know, the Miami crowd is just, it's Florida Thick. crowd is just, it's, you got to be built different. Yeah. Dude. Like, you got to be built different. It was, you know, one of my boys, shout out to Blink the Link. Yep, um, shout out to Blink. He was like, yo, like, these, these, these any, any DJ who comes out of South Florida, I will put them up against anybody in the world. Because yeah. the market down here is just ridiculous. Like, yeah. you have to be able to juggle so many different songs and mm. learn so many different vibes. Like, it's, mm. it, and it's true. So rich. It's so rich. Right. But yeah, it's a melting pot. That's the craziest thing about it. Mm. This place with so many people and so many different cultures, but when you go out, you only hear a certain type of thing right. every time. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's right? weird. It's weird. It's it's weird. Weird. It's it's weird. They have one or two songs that they know are going to hit. Yeah, with a certain demographic. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like, I got this. 
I, I got the um, I got this for my Haitian <coughs> crowd. I got this for my, mm-hmm. my Hispanic folks. I got this for the, you know what I mean? Yeah, but then, like those in between songs where you kind of you have to be creative because mm-hmm. those in between songs when you get to those hits, you gotta kind of make sure the crowd's still energy. engaged. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Because they can easily hear their song and stop moving until they hear another big song. I've and seen it. It's <laughs> yeah, weird. It's, yeah. it's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's weird. And yeah, you're right because I feel like the 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 crowd down here they don't really appreciate music. Music. Mm-hmm. They appreciate Agreed. hype. The vibe. Yeah. The so vibe. The vibe. So it's I, like it I call it shout out DJs. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, skip to the next song real quick. And, but I wouldn't even I, like even that. I, I honestly can't even blame the DJs for that. Like, there's mm-hmm. no way I could put the blame on them for that because it's you a as a DJ, like energy is what you thrive off of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whether if it's two people. 10 people, 5,000 people, it doesn't matter. When you have energy, you feel great. Mm-hmm. So if you as a DJ not getting energy from nobody or nothing, mm-hmm. you got to stick to what you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I can understand that because that's what keeps, you know, keeps the vibe right. When right. you feel the energy and y'all on the same plane and everything. Now, usually you don't see a lot of people that like, jump into the DJ ism as I would say as a career but yeah. like what no ism and schism <laughs> <laughs> the DJing yeah. there you go DJing yeah. um what what like brought you to it because you know there's many paths in music writing rapping right. production record label what brought you specifically to being the DJ so the DJ route I actually didn't take until like 2013 and what'd you do before that before that, I was a football player. Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but music has always been a part of my life, like the greatest part of my life. Like even in like middle school, like I used to have like the older kids mm-hmm. used to be like, yo, yo, Tim, let me, let me, let me hold your 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 iPod for for lunch. I'll pay you, you know, I'll pay, you, I'll pay you three dollars. Oh shit! Yeah, because <laughs> I spent hours on LimeWire, hours ripping all my sister's Shout CDs. Out LimeWire, like, yeah, yo, man. I used to spend. Hours on that shit. So that was a shit, people man. used to be like, yo, this nigga's iPod has everything. <laughs> <laughs> like everything. Like I'm talking about, I'm walking like in between classes, dudes are like, yo, 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 you got your iPod today? <laughs> I'm like, Josh already got it. You gotta, you gotta make a reservation. Yeah, you feel me? So I used to, like, that and sell a candy. Like, that was, you know, that's one of the, You sold like, candy, too? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, quick, Absolutely. No, 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 no. Absolutely. Yo, so, no taxes. No taxes. Yo. Shout out BJ's. Sam's Club. Yo, BJ's, Sam's Club, forget about it. <laughs> Literal bricks. It was mm-hmm. a cop bricks. And <laughs> distribute them to school. Yo, for real. In the book Crazy. Bag. The hell, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, nah, but so, but getting to that DJ lane, I mean, I've always been a fan of music. So how I feel when I listen to new music or just music that makes me feel good, I'm like, damn, somebody got to hear this. Mm. So when I got to college, I was doing that with mostly like, I went to college in Daytona Oh, okay. uh, before I transferred to FIU. I went to Bethune. Mm. So like mm. being in the dorm room with all the football players and stuff like just spinning like all the music from up there mm-hmm. and then I would mix in like you know soca I would mix in dance I'd be like damn bro what that is <laughs> <laughs> damn, bro, what that is what the fuck you listening to cha cha nigga <laughs> <laughs> that's funny hey, hey. but like uh, <laughs> 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 say cha cha <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like but definitely like just 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 that route right there and then coming down to Miami you know, really pushed me to like kind of do that within the college scene. So I was on eboard for CSA. Shout out CSA. Big F- shout out CSA. CSA. FIU CSA. Yeah, FIU CSA. Specific Cali. Specific Cali. Specific Cali. Specific Cali. Get out of here, dude. FIU CSA. Oh, I'm an <laughs> unofficial F-I-U. member. He's an unofficial. F-I-U. 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 We brought him in. We brought him in. We two, let him two, come. Two former, <laughs> e-board. <laughs> <laughs> two former eboard members. Sit next to each other. Kawiki, nigga. Three. I feel like. Oh, you was on the e-board too? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Once upon a time. Well, I'm not, I wasn't FIU e-board. Oh, Broward, two former <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 college e Fuck y'all. Oh, see, you got, you got, you got three Shout former college, e-board. Man. I was unofficial FIU e-board. 
<laughs> but no, sure, but that's, like, that's most official. Yeah. <laughs> In the Caribbean, the unofficial. FIU CSA is just unmatched them. all around. Connection. Yeah. Real talk. It's, 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 it's wicked. Yeah. Bro, I, feel like, I feel like people have pressed themselves trying to match it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, bro, don't put yourself in harm's way. <laughs> often, often imitated, never duplicate. Where, there we go. We certainly were in harm's way. You know what I'm saying? Plenty Every time. step a lot of, of A lot of niggas didn't, didn't graduate on time, including myself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But we got through. <laughs> we got through. <laughs> no, we some, of the, it, some of the wildest parties I've ever been to in my life. Was I don't know what you're talking about. So, <laughs> we are going to continue. There were. No, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, shout out FIUCSA because like, um, they are the ones who really put me in the public eye. So mm-hmm. I was like DJing, yeah, like, that, that's where I met you, and stuff yeah. like that. But like, put me out in front of people. So my boy John, shout out Beige Warrior, Johnny Boy, <laughs> shout out. Or, he was like, "Yo, I got a surprise for you. This is like my first time on eboard, like I'm getting to know everybody." Now he knows me like early on, like while I was spinning, I was spinning like soca, Afro beats, and dancehall mainly. Mm. And he's like, yo, I got a surprise for you when we throw um Climax. I'm thinking like he got a bottle oh, or some yeah, shit. Climax. Yeah. I'm thinking he got like, you know what I mean? He's like, nah, look at the fly. What does that say? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how you dropped it on you. Oh, wow. Wow. Up to this point, I never used club equipment. I never seen a CDJ in real life. Like, wow. oh, shit. So we ended up going to Nikosi. Shout house. Out Shout out Nikosi. Wait, we talking about Nikosi Art. Nikosi Art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out DJ Nikosi. Well, formerly DJ Nikosi. Formerly known as DJ Nikosi. That's a big publisher now. Yeah, yeah. I put some respect on his name. That's what's up. That's what's up. Nikosi Art. But um, yeah, we went. We ended up going to his house the night before. Um, Inferno was it Inferno Climax? One of them, and. I'm sitting there struggling, like, yo, what is this? Like, <laughs> God, he's like, yo, you just gotta feel it, dog. Just feel it. I'm like, all right. Well, I guess we'll just see tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually ended up going on and doing pretty decent. I got a lot of good feedback. So that, yeah, that's you know, that boosted my confidence. Yeah, yeah. That's what's know, up. That's what's up. From there. But mm-hmm. yeah, that, I mean, just, I, I'm a big energy person. Like, out in public, when y'all see me, I probably won't talk much um, just because I'm real observant. But um, I'm big on energy. So when I go out, when I'm with my boys, or just like even here, like the energy's right, so I could talk and I could feel like you know I'm at home. So energy in the club, I feel like I could provide that energy like no other. And you mm-hmm. know, a lot of DJs feel that way, as mm-hmm. they should, because you know everybody, it's an art. It's an art yeah, to it. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of respect, mm-hmm. you know. Dutty Dex, Dream Team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big yeah, shout out, big cool shout out. That's some of the best out there. Celestial right. Nile, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. Eccentrics. Savy, Eccentrics. Eccentrics. Yeah. I love that shit. <laughs> oh, he has my favorite tag, everybody. <laughs> Yo, for real, that shit is addictive. <laughs> like, you could be walking down the street in Wimbledon and you heard that shit, you're running. <laughs> you're like, like where the party at? Oh, they had Gramps, we out. Yeah. <laughs> Over there? Where, I remember Dutch Dex used to um, DJ a lot of, um, of the shows I used to perform at. Oh, for real? Uh, yeah, with stand up. Yeah, that's oh, all. Wow. Yeah. yeah, small world. Word. Yeah. Well, I have a similar story with, st- uh, with stand up. Somebody just signed me up. It was like, hey, we're going to a show. You performing. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this, yo, his fake quotes of the day used to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, the I'm fake a, deep quotes? The fake deep I'm going to get back on it. No, the people want them. I'm I have to. Personally. I'm going to get back on it. <laughs> personally. Are we going to get back on the stand up? Oh. I'm just waiting for you to sign me a random. Oh. <laughs> oh. So you were telling us earlier, um, as I put it, you going back to the boom bap. Ooh. No, well, no, well that's how I put it. That's how I, no, no, that's back, how I put it. Boom bap. Oh, back, 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 back to the foundation. My dog said he's going <laughs> back <laughs> to the vinyl. Yeah, the man. wax. The wax. wax. My man is going Wax get, on, wax mother. Wax on. on the Technics, on the new the marks, wax. the... Whatever the fuck yes, brand yes, he choosing, yes. and he gonna turn one to of <laughs> the biggest journeys I've taken thus far in like just being a DJ because I was heavy on controller vibes like mm-hmm. Pioneer SZ, mm-hmm. you know, just that 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 was my go to. Like I would like I would step out in like parties and wouldn't feel comfortable with just you know working with regular equipment. 
I would have to bring my own. So mm-hmm. now, like, standing with the standalone mixer and stuff like that and actually getting vinyl just to kind of get back to the basics, mm-hmm. I feel like just provides a whole different sound and a unique way to just kind of bring your own touch to the party element. Because, I, I mean, if you go to Wynwood, that's what they use. Mm. So that's why the vibe is always, like, so just nice, authentic, mm-hmm. raw. Mm-hmm. So I want to be able to bring that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, and you know, a lot of DJs out here actually do use turntables. It's just easier to I use see. yeah, controllers and stuff like that because it's digital, easy, mm-hmm. not as heavy. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine, yeah. like, you lugging around a damn vinyl player. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, I thought all the stuff in Wilbur was straight um, control. I didn't know they was using vinyl. That's news to me. Uh, yeah, I, see, I, see I mean, what, 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 yeah, like, tavern? one or two. Like, usually mm-hmm. if I see them, it's like a... Like a low key party, not a lot of people. They are usually at. have both, so they have the mixer and then they have either vinyl or or the CDJs. CDJs. Okay. A lot of places usually just stick with just the CDJs because vinyls are expensive, especially if they break. Mm-hmm. People they usually ask people to bring their own needles. Right. If, they, uh. if they provide needles, <laughs> they want you to pay for it. If it breaks, like it's just got you, mm. got you. But then Phase came out with the digital needle, which is what I have. So mm. that Good job is you. Wait, you <laughs> see that shit? No, no, I saw the a digital needle. I sent that to Does you. It sound the Jazzy Jeff. DJ Jazzy no. Jeff. Yeah. Crazy. To me, it doesn't. It's so insane. Because it's, it's like a little weight you put on it, right? It's not. Yeah, it's like a little, okay. like a remote, like this big. But but like you but you know big. what? I, I appreciate that little scratchy sound. That was yeah. Oh yeah. Before, before the song plays. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, this nigga, this nigga be smoking his cigars <laughs> recliner, yeah, with the newspaper with his bathroom. <laughs> Yo, I used to listen with, to vinyl with, with, with one of them um those big drum, <laughs> oh yeah, those big <laughs> drum speakers. Catch <laughs> 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 my Chardonnay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so. You covered, oh, sorry, we covered towards the end of the episode, but before we go, what's in store for Jumbie? What's in store for J Jumbie? What will you got lying in the future that you can tell us about? Okay. Right. Unless this is a surprise. Don't First tell of all, us. we got to have you back on, dog, because I feel like as soon as we got to, you know what I'm saying? Talk the juicy to, part? Yeah. Where, 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 yeah. Death, I know where, where I'm saying, man. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. Just hit me up. Oh, of course. Oh. But Jumbie what I two. can say that's in store for Jumbie is definitely Afro B and Vibe Volume 2, mm-hmm. Part A and B. Um, Miami Carnival, for sure, I'll be on the road with the Junction. Hey. Um, and don't you have an Afro Beats party you do? Oh, yes. Afro Beats Day party, September 1st. Be there. I will be there providing the most vibes. Hey. <laughs> September 1st. <laughs> Nothing yeah. more, nothing less. Nothing Word. more, nothing less. And Word I also have game. somebody that I'm working with out in Dubai. Goes by the name of the Ecom Boy. Shout out to International Kingdom of Money. Wow. Um, hey. They sound heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be on the lookout for his works. We got something planned for y'all too. So, so yeah. Hey, of course, we fine. definitely be on the lookout, bro. And thank you for being on, homie. Yeah, appreciate I appreciate you five you have me. Appreciate the interview and everything. We appreciate your yes, appreciation no, no for problem. music. No no problem. Problem. And it's no authenticity. No a very authentic DJ. Y'all need to go check him out. Mm. Whenever he DJing anywhere, this man could DJ Afrobeats. He could DJ dancehall, reggae, hip hop, mm. new and old. Word, word. Trust me. And I'm, I'm saying it myself. Top 40, EDM, word. CDM, Afro this, House. Boom. You see this man on the Afro, Afro House. House. Afro House. Bruh. You see this man on the flyer, you need to slide. Slide. Absolutely. Yeah, don't, 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 don't question it. Don't question it. Exactly. Buy, buy, ends, buy you and your side chicken ticket. It's going to be good. Easily. Oh, Jesus. Easy. Easy. <laughs> You're going to get away.